Hey everybody, it's Sarah Jones with Politicus USA's The Daily. I wanted to check in with you really quickly because of this huge indictment news against Donald Trump. You know, we have heard now that the charges uh, range from anything from the willful retention of national defense information to conspiracy to obstruction of justice conspiracy. Um, and those retaining of the national defense documents, that is um, being charged in violation of the Espionage Act. So that dovetails into what I want to talk about tonight, which I don't think is talked about very often in our news media. Since the moment Donald Trump was kind of came on the scene as a presidential contender in 2015, there started to be these rumors um, about the Russians and about his team um, possibly working with the Russians or getting help from the Russians. And what we know now is that they, they did get help, they did meet with them. Um, you know, I think the first thing I said about that, and I said it, I think in 2017, um, I said it on TV, so it's out there for everyone to know about. Um, to me, this was a national security issue. That's what it's always been. That's what Donald Trump has always represented is a threat to our national security. I do not see this discussed that way. And now here he is accused of willfully retaining national defense information. And we know how many people traipse in and out of Mar-a-Lago, they don't keep visitor logs, but we know that many people with close contacts to um, world leaders and to far right um, authoritarian type people around the globe um, have had, uh, those close contacts have, have visited Mar-a-Lago. Um, so, we don't know what Donald Trump has done with these documents and with whom he has shared them. But one thing we do know is that he has never been loyal to this country before his own self-interest. That has been clear from day one. And I think that when you put somebody like that in the White House, that is a national security danger. And that really should have been discussed as it was happening. But the entire country was gaslit. We were all gaslit that this, you know, we couldn't talk about this. And then ever since then, Republicans have been really pushing this idea that um, the whole Russia um, discussion was ridiculous and was a hoax and was a witch hunt. Um, actually, none of those things are true. And if you do have a chance to uh, read or listen to the entire Mueller report. In light of these uh, new charges, I think that the story of Donald Trump as president is going to be a story of what do you do when there's a threat to uh, the national security of the country and it's coming from inside the White House. It's coming from the Oval Office. That's where we are right now. Um, Again, you know, we don't know exactly what he's done with these documents. That's all going to be come, you know, come uh, be made clear when uh, on Tuesday, and then as that case proceeds forward, we'll find out more details. But I think just based on the stories that have been told around this pre this former president since the day, you know, he uh, kind of emerged on the scene, it's always been, um, it's always been a threat. He, he has never been clear that he puts this country ahead of his own self-interest. And I, I think it would be foolish. It's, we're way past the time when that needs to be discussed. And it needs to be the forefront of the discussion that he has acted in these ways that has put the national security of our country last, um, or certainly after his own self-interest. So, um, you know, the getting help from Russia to win an election in the United States as president. If he had been a Democrat, that would have been game over. So let's talk about it as if he were a Democrat and were held to the same standards. That's what I really want to see happen. I think we need that for the healing of this country if that's to happen. So, um, you know, hang in there. We'll see what's happening. We're going to keep you apprised of everything on Politicus USA and on the daily. Um, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. All right. Take care.